There are better ones. The one I would recommend is either the DDR Museum. That's about the history yeah. of the German Democratic Republic. Behind us, where you now see this housing complex, used to be the Nazi Chancery Hitler's office in Berlin. There's nothing inside. I mean, the Russians took everything out. And uh, thing, you know, we hear it if you go to a protest and the, you have the police policeman gets on your nerves and you call him a Nazi. Universe is the specialty of Berlin cuisine. I told you that after First World War, Germany was not allowed to have an air force. You remember that? Okay, everybody, welcome to West Berlin! Hey. You read it and it looks like, oh my god, it's upside down. And The Berlin Wall Museum, that's something different. Yes. It's uh, far from here? It's not far from here, it's thanks to Checkpoint Charlie, but I don't recommend going to that one. Yeah? You want to learn? No. It's a, it's a very... Uh, I don't recommend it. There are better ones. The one I would recommend is either the DDR Museum, that's about the history yeah. of the German Democratic Republic. Where is that? East Germany. It's right next to Museum Island. Okay. Or going to the museum center next to Mauer Park. Okay. Okay. That would be my, my that would be my personal recommendation. And also these days, you see the Mall of Berlin over there. You see where it says Mall of Berlin. Oh yeah. Mall right of Berlin. now, because they are starting basically to celebrate the 30 years of the fall of the wall. Yeah. So you can find a lot of places that are giving information about the wall. And there they have an exhibition right now. Right now. Yes. Go so and have a look for free. Okay. Let's go and have a look. All right, everybody. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, you know why I brought you here? There's World War II ended here, yeah? Yes. Also, you know, us millennials, we just love parking lots. We always hang out at parking lots. <laughs> we don't have money. We can buy a house, so we just hang out in the parking lot. No, but the, the real reason why I brought you guys here is because underneath us, underneath this parking lot, 17 meters down, the is a bunker. Right here. Yes, yes, yes. The bunker still exists, and no, you cannot go inside. No. Oh. Okay, why? I will tell you in a second. But first, we will talk about why they built the bunker here. It was not random, okay? The reason why they built the bunker here is because behind us, where you now see this housing complex, used to be the Nazi Chancery Hitler's office in Berlin. Okay, okay. a huge, huge, huge office. It started, uh, it started where uh, Hotel Adlon is today, and it ended all the way over there. Okay, it was a huge, huge office, all by the way, um, Inside, you had a marvelous Italian marble. Italian marble. Carrara. Carrara. Everybody knows. <laughs> okay, don't, don't come at me. I'm so sorry. And that happened on the 29th of April, 1945. Hitler realizes that that's it. He lost the war. So he decides to do something very extreme. He decides to get married. Some people say it's very extreme. It's down here, yeah. somewhere, the yeah. bunker. It still exists, but it, there's not much to see. It's just like, it's very, um... There's a guy who managed to go inside in the 70s. Okay. He took some pictures. It basically looks like a, a basement. Basement, no, yeah. yeah. There's nothing inside. I mean, the, the Russians took everything out. And, uh, yeah. That's it, I think. Yes, indeed. Oh. Okay, guys. Listen. So, is it Gianluca? Gianluca, okay, you look like a guy. You might do it. Okay, because okay. he's, he's the guy who likes 
He likes uh, exploring. Exploring things. Okay. Exactly. He's the explorer guy. Yeah. So Indiana Jones. Start, bring, maybe bring some spoons from the hotel. Okay. Start digging, digging, start digging. Start cool. At some point, you will see a gray metal door. You will open that gray metal door, very and what you're gonna fun. see? Hitler. A wall of concrete. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very, very scary if you open it and it's like. Hello. Welcome home. <laughs> no, he speaks German. Yeah. Yeah. He's like an English. Yeah, yeah. Austrian German. Very weird German he had. Um, yeah, but uh, look, guys, I don't. Sometimes I have people here in, 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 in Berlin. They're so cute. They come to me and they're like. They're, they feel so bad. They, kind of, they, they, they feel bad about saying it, like Americans or, or Canadians or something like that. And they don't want to say it like out loud. And I'm telling them that they know what it is. They don't have to hide it. They, they hear about it all the time. Okay? They know that there were Nazis here. It's nothing new. They think it's like saying, you know, the N word in, in the States or something. It's not the same. It's so funny to me. It's like still a thing, you know, we hear it if you go to a protest and you have the police, policeman gets on your nerves and you call him a Nazi and stuff. They still do that. Okay. Like, it's something you hear like all the time, but you definitely be like... Yeah. In Holland they do that too. Huh? In Holland, in the Netherlands they do that too. Yes. They call people Nazis when they think they're you know, extremely uh. annoying or something. What's this curry what? Huh? It's very curry verse. Curry verse is the specialty of Berlin cuisine. It is the famous German sausage. It's called Wurst. Okay. And they do it with uh, a powder of... Uh, uh, they, they mix it Spices, with a sauce. Yeah. sauce. Yeah, exactly. With a sauce of ketchup, Wurstscher. Sauce? How do you call it? Wurstscher sauce? It's very hard to say. Wurstscher sauce. Wurst. Wurst. Do you know what I'm saying? No, Worcestershire no. sauce? How do you say it? Worcestershire sauce? You know what Worcester, I mean. Worcester, I guess. Worcestershire sauce. And, um, Worcester sauce. And, and, and curry. And curry. And curry. It's, 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 it's nothing like things you know with curry, but it's not too bad, I have to say. Not too bad. Not yeah, we eat everything like everything dipped in curry. You, you got, I know. Yeah. Everything in India is with curry. Yeah. Also in, uh, in Thailand. Yeah, it's Every, swimming, everything. everything is swimming everything in curry. Yeah? Swimming in curry. Yeah. In curry. Yes. Yeah. But curry is so good, why not? By the way guys, this is the mall of Berlin, one of the biggest malls in Berlin. It's huge, it goes the way all the way from here and ends on the other side in Potsdam of Platz. It's also an interesting square square that is kind of like the uh uh behind square <laughs> Let's go. English tour in progress. Oh no. Okay. This is Czech Republic Embassy. It's big, bigger than US. Where are you from, from Middle East? I'm from buildings that survived the bombings of the Second World War. Okay. This building used to be <coughs> the headquarters of the Luftwaffe, the Nazi Air Force. Aha! Now do you guys remember, I hope you guys were listening, I told you that after First World War, Germany was not allowed to have an Air Force. Do you remember that? Aha! So, the Nazis 
they wanted to bring Germany to be the, the, the great military empire it used to be, but they had to do it secretly, okay? So they didn't openly call it the Ministry of the Air Force or the headquarters <laughs> of the Air Force. They called it Ministry of Transportation by Air. <laughs> we are just building, building airplanes to transfer sausages and potatoes. We are not bombing anyone, we swear. <laughs> I just made a whole one big lie when they started bombing Poland in 1939. It's quite obvious they do have an air force. Now, why did they not bomb this building? The Allied forces came to Berlin in the end of the Second World War and they bombed most of Berlin, but why did they not bomb this building as well? Guys, have any guesses? They thought it's a hospital. They did. No, no, but that's a good guess. They did not think it's a hospital. Maybe but a school or children no, living no, no. here? No, the reason is very simple, okay? Uh, it was used as part of their navigation system. When you bomb from the air, you cannot bomb everything. You have to leave a few buildings standing, you know, where you are, okay? As a landmark. You look from, uh, from above, everything you see around you is totally, totally blank, and then you see this building and recognize it. And this building is very big. This is why they left it untouched. Yeah, very boring, but that's the truth. After the Second World War, guys, this building kept being used by the German government, but this time it was the East German government. This is where the East German government used to sit. All right, the Dutch they never sit, okay? Because you never know when the Germans are coming and they always have to be prepared. Right? That's what you would want. Okay, uh, okay, everybody, welcome to West Berlin! Yeah. 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 Welcome to the this world. You, you smell the capitalism? Yeah. It's all around you. It's all around you. Okay, also, welcome to the Berlin Wall. Berlin Wall. Right here on your right side, guys. Okay? Yes, yes, this is. Okay, take them down. I'll be honest. Who is a little bit disappointed? Right? About all the Nazis, the Nazis, how they brainwash people, how they brought people here to interrogate them, people they prosecuted, people they murdered all over Europe. Um, yes, and the Jewish Holocaust, prosecution of homosexuals. Very interesting. It doesn't make your heart warm, yes, of course, but very interesting. Totally free of charge, and it's open all week long. Okay, so if you guys want to come back, I really strongly recommend it. This one, this, one the, this the gray one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they do a very good job. They do very good, very thorough. A lot of very good thorough research about uh, about the Nazis. Do you guys have any questions? Taking the train back, or? Yeah, Hanover. Hanover. How is Hanover? It's a small city. Interesting. Yeah, they have a town hall. They have a flea market. It's small. They have Nana Arts. Nana you know, what? Nana Arts, the multicolored paintings, okay. statues. They have a famous artist there, and uh, they have a big zoo. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> No Nazis. No, no Nazis? No. I'm sure there were Nazis there too, but it's just not as big as here. Yeah, it's it's the main thing is here. They have cars, these beautiful cars. Oh, it's open today until ten. Oh, they're open at ten. Sorry. DDR museum, yeah. Yeah. Actually, on Saturdays they're open until 10, so maybe you can just go tonight. Yeah, that's good. I'm I'm living here in Mitty, so. Oh, so it's really close by. It's really close to, you know, where like Alexander Platz is, or it's really close.
Yeah. People who speak no English. No. Oh. Everybody, welcome to the last stop of our tour. 